ocean. A vast blue expanse critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the ocean's beauty than the killer whale. They live in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the Pacific and beyond. The killer whale story is the ocean story, and it's one we all share. We are one world, united by our ocean.
lead to an environment full of enrichment. We spend days, weeks, months, and years building relationships with our whales. This creates trust, and that allows us to do some amazing things. For example, when you visit the doctor, you present your arm to draw blood, or you step on the scale to see how much you weigh. It's much the same with our whales. Today you'll see our whales moving together in unison. These synchronized behaviors strengthen social bonds and enable them to problem solve as a group. Working together as a team is what makes them the ocean's top predator. Scientifically known as a sinus orca, they commonly call pebble whales. Here at SeaWorld, we refer to them as Katina, Malia, Milani, Trua, and Makayo. Our killer whale family. Makayo is our youngest whale. He's 11 years old. And our oldest is Makayo's mother, Katina, who is 35 years old. Katina is also the matriarch or leader of our pod. SeaWorld's animal training techniques create a language between us and the whales. It's a language of learning through positive reinforcement, encouragement, commitment, and care. Through these techniques and our relationships, the whales learn to trust us. They even take an active role in their own health and well-being. One of the first healthcare behaviors we train is a voluntary blood sample. Our whales learn to roll ventral or upside down and present their tail. This not only gives us a great look at their entire body, but it also gives us access to easily seen blood vessels on the white undersides of their tail flukes. Now Nick right here is here with Trua and he's demonstrating this behavior right here in our slide out. So he's asked Trua to roll ventral or upside down and Trua is presenting him with his tail flukes. So there's that big, big vein that runs on the white underside of that tail flukes and that's exactly where our veterinarians are able to get a blood sample from. Our veterinarians get a blood sample at least once a month, and our whales are trained to remain calm and relaxed throughout the procedure. Now, you may notice our trainers rubbing or massaging on the whales, whether on their backs, pectoral flippers, or tail flukes. The whales have very sensitive skin, and this is just one way that we can reward them for remaining calm during procedures like this. It's also a great way for us to strengthen our relationships with the whales. Now, taking a blood sample is just one diagnostic. We can also weigh our whales. We're able to weigh our whales by asking them, asking them to slide their bodies up and out of the water into a killer whale-sized scale, which is located in one of our adjacent pools. Now, this is Makayo demonstrating this right here in our slide-out, and you may notice that the space between his dorsal fin and his tail flukes is still in the water. That's called the pedumbo, and it's the powerhouse of the whale. It's very muscular and very heavy. With the peduncle still in the water, we wouldn't be weighing the whole whale. So we simply ask our whales to lift their tails up and out of the water. <laughs> Training this posture enables us to ensure accuracy. So we know that our younger whales are growing properly and that our older whales are maintaining their healthy weight. And the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and play are vital, and we surprise and engage with our whales at every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt, and for the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. Hey everybody, I'm down here on the left side of the pool. So killer whales learn a lot by playing. They also learn through observational learning and mimicry. From the moment they're born, killer whales learn necessary life skills by playing follow the leader with their mothers and other whales. Our, our whales play follow the leader with us too, and you all are going to get to play that game with them today, so left side of the stadium, stand up for me! You're going to get to play with Trua! Okay, so on the count of three, take your hands, move them to your sides, and spin in a circle two times. Ready? One, two, three, spin! And he's got it! Wow, well done, everybody! You all can have a seat. So you'll notice that Trua was paying very close attention to you. Killer whales are very curious animals and can often be seen spy hopping or jumping completely out of the water to get a better look at their surroundings. Now, Trua is going to demonstrate this behavior with a bow at stage. So when he comes out of the water, let's 
time of year. Unfortunately, overfishing, pollution, and other factors are having a serious impact on some killer whale populations. Killer whales are impressive animals, and it's pretty obvious why they're the top predator in the ocean. That means killer whales are invincible, right? Oh. Killer whales depend on a plentiful food source and a clean environment. They're completely dominant, yet completely dependent. When it comes down to it, killer whales are not the most powerful animal in the ocean. Mystery. We are 